Battlefield. It's a game that most of you have heard of, and if you're watching this video, have probably played. Now, although you probably hate to admit it, you're not the greatest at Battlefield. Unless you're one of those big name Battlefield players who averages three times as many kills than deaths in every game you play, you're probably just like the rest of us, and mediocre. Now, this gameplay, honestly, I did terrible. I think I had around 35 deaths. And even though I had those 35 deaths, I did end up finishing number two on the leaderboard. And that's because I played the objective and I played the recon kit how it was meant to be played. As a medium to long range support role. Yet sometimes I got a little cocky and I decided let's do this close range stuff where I ended up dying. Every time. Now here I actually get killed but shortly afterwards <laughs> I end up dying. And that's because I don't see that guy at the end of the hallway, and then I just blindly fire. This is something that you want to avoid. Because blind fires can most of the time result in either a teammate death or your death. More so than actually killing an enemy. If you watch throughout this video, I think I get one or two just no-scope kills where I just shoot because I got kind of scared. <laughs> And you want to kind of watch out for that. Because unless you trust your aim, pointlessly shooting is a stupid idea when you could probably just switch to your secondary in the amount of time that it would have taken to shoot and kill the guy with your pistol. Let's start off with introductions. I'm Dirty Walrus 75, and this is Mediocre Field. A channel that a few of my friends and I started up because we, we realized that not everybody is amazing at the games that they play. Not everybody has like a super majestic KD. No. Not everybody has that. Many of us, whether you hate to admit it or not, are mediocre at the things we do. And so, to start off with the actual meaning of this video, we're going to talk about the recon kit and how you can be a supportive role or a negative role. And then we're going to talk about the types of recon players. And then we're going to talk about some things you should avoid while playing as recon. To begin, the recon kit. How you can support your teammates. Now, the recon kit is something that takes a little bit of getting used to, and in my opinion is one of the hardest kits to master. And that's because the recon kit is designed for those medium to long range engagements. Yet, some of the weapons you can have as a recon kit are designed for medium to close range engagements, or just close range engagements in general. Another thing that should be added is that a lot of the gadgets used by the recon kit are supportive but in a long range or if necessary close range aspect. Now you're wondering what do you mean by close range if this is a medium to long range support kit? Well C4 you have to get pretty close to use it. And the spawn beacon? Yeah. Unless you're putting that on like towers where you and your entire five man squad of recon kit players can just spawn up there and think you're doing great by just shooting at dudes who run by you, you're not helping out the team. You're helping out each other. Which is good, because you're getting the first building blocks of squad play down. Yet you're not getting the building blocks of team play down. So, the spawn beacon you need to put in, for instance, rush, 
close enough to an objective to where it helps, but far enough away to where it's not a burden on your team. Now what do I mean by burden? I mean burden because if you put it too close to an objective and they run up and they just destroy your spawn beacon or somebody spawns on your spawn beacon and dies right away, it's not a good thing. I have a piece in this video where I actually put down a spawn beacon and then I turn the corner and I've got my 1911 and then three guys come up the stairs and they kill me and they destroy my spawn beacon. But then shortly thereafter I put another spawn beacon down and it's actually helpful. And then somebody else puts their spawn beacon down next to mine so that their squad can spawn on their spawn beacon. Now something that can turn this recon kit into a negative aspect is when you use it as kind of just a personal advantage. Now what do I mean by personal advantage? I mean you're just using the recon kit because you say switched over from Call of Duty and thought it would be a great idea to start sniping right away. That's a personal advantage. Another personal advantage is just playing the recon kit so that you can level up your sniper so that you can get another sniper like a better sniper or a different type of gun or something like that or just to get more gadgets for your recon kit that's a negative aspect that is a personal advantage now the two types of recon players that I was talking about there are primary snipers and secondary snipers and what I mean by primary snipers is primary snipers are snipers who use their primary weapon to get a majority of their kills. They use their sniper rifle, hence primary sniper. Then you have your secondary snipers, which get a majority of their kills from their secondary weapon, their pistol. When I played Battlefield 4 on PS3, ho! <laughs> I was a secondary sniper hardcore. That is literally all I did, was I ran around with my 1911, I got kills with my 1911, and that's how I played Battlefield. Then, once I switched over to PS4, I realized that using your pistol kind of just makes you every other kit, just you're using the name Recon as your kit, pretty much. Because I can get kills with my secondary as assault, I can get kills with my secondary as support, I can get kills with my secondary as engineer. But I can't get kills with a sniper as engineer, support, or assault. I can only get kills with a sniper as recon. These two really go for every kid out there. A primary support or a secondary support. A primary assault or a secondary support assault or a primary engineer and a secondary engineer but I feel like they apply less so then when you talk about the recon kit because the recon kit is designed for medium to long range like I said earlier a pistol that's designed for close range now don't tell me that you sit a thousand meters away from your target and snipe him with your SW40 whatever pistol you use or your 44 magnum that doesn't really work <laughs> I don't care if you think it works or if you've done it once before unless you have proof probably doesn't work so being a secondary sniper doesn't really help your team and that is a negative thing that is a negative aspect to your gameplay that is a negative aspect to your team that does not promote teamwork that promotes personal advantage now in this part of the gameplay I actually experienced really bad lag and I don't know why but when I looked at my server settings I realized that um, it had gone from four out of five bars for my connection to one bar and it stayed one bar until the end of the game yet this was the only little bit where it was lag. Now if you see, my 1911 is probably the main way I get kills, and that's because I'm still, at heart, 
kind of a secondary sniper. But I branched off from that recently because I decided that I'm not going to just get kills with my pistol anymore. I'm going to get kills with my sniper rifle. And so now I went from having the most kills with any gun was my 1911. And that's now my gold magnum. I think I have about 1,153 kills with my gold magnum. Now that's not a lot, but granted, I use a large range of guns because I really like to get gold battle packs. Like, it's something that I just love. I love opening them up, but the problem is that three out of the five things you get are probably bonuses, and they're probably not good bonuses. Anyway, that is completely off topic. Back to what I was saying. Personal advantages aren't something you want to roll with. You want to do what is best for your team and your squad. Now how I'd like to rank it is your squad comes second to your team. Now you're probably thinking, okay, that is a stupid idea. You always want to do what's in the best interest for your squad. Yes, that's true. But if you're going to do something that's going to help your team, like arm an objective, that is better than just telling your squad, oh yeah, go arm that objective for the team. Which helps your team. That's right. Arming the MCOM. Now, if you look at it, there are some guns that should be used and some guns that are kind of overpowered and shouldn't be used. Now, for me, <laughs> I absolutely hate the SRR-61. And that's because it doesn't have as much bullet drop as other guns do. And I just hate that. The Gold Magnum, even though it is overpowered, does have bullet drop. And it has bullet drop at the same range as about the M40A5 does. So, after about... 200 yards is when you start experiencing a little more bullet drop than usual. Anyway, the SRR-61 is something you want to avoid in my opinion, and if you really want to, go ahead and use it. It's a great gun to get killed with, because it kills really fast, really quickly, and if you're playing hardcore, instantly. Carbines and shotguns are something you want to avoid as well, because as a recon kit, Changing your gameplay style from medium to long range combat down to close range combat or close to medium range combat if you're using a carbine is a bad idea because you can't really get kills with the carbines or the shotguns past 200 meters unless you're really accurate with a carbine. But DMRs and snipers are perfect for the recon kit because they add that precision accuracy. Something you also want to keep in mind is that no matter how much you don't want to realize the fact that you are a support pawn, in a sense, when playing the recon kit, you have to. Because the moment you accept the fact that you're there to help the assault and the engineer and the support kits get further into the front lines to get more of those necessity kills and to arm the objective and to revive teammates that's when you realize that your role as medium to long range support is something that's best kept as medium to long range support you don't want to get a shotgun and just bull rush every objective right away no you want to sit back you kind of want to wait you kind of want to just rack up those kills in this gameplay i didn't really rack up kills so much as i racked up deaths I died way too many times, and like I said earlier, 35 deaths is not something you want to end off with. But ending second on the leaderboard, that's a good thing to do. Now, here I set down a spawn beacon. And here is where those three guys come up the stairs, like I said earlier. Now, I will then go, I will arm A, and then I will put down that spawn beacon. And that spawn beacon will actually help so much, because it will help my team a little better than I thought it would. Now, 
I'd like to start winding down the video. Now, today, I've talked about the recon kit, how you can use it as a support role, how you can use it as a negative role, the types of recon players, as well as some weapons and weapon types you should avoid when playing the recon kit. I will be bringing future videos about battlefield kits and some of my friends on this channel will be bringing videos on other games because like I said at the beginning of this video we are not all as good as we say we are on certain games so just to finish off with this video I'd like to say thank you for watching thank you for watching to the end as well and I would like to say that in the future the gameplay the commentary it'll all get better and I just ask that you bear with us through these beginning stages I know I've already said this already but just thank you again and please stay tuned for all the other videos that are going to be coming um, we're gonna probably upload at least one video a week uh, I don't really know everybody's schedule yet, but that's kind of the plan. By the time you're watching this video, there should most likely be a Destiny video already up from my friend that awesome guy 45 And I really recommend you watch that too if you're a Destiny fan. Thank you for tuning in to Mediocre Field, and I am Dirty Walrus 75 Thank you, and have a nice day.